Hi, my name's Alicia and welcome to my channel Papercraft Secrets. Today I'm sharing a mini album and I created this with the Merry and Bright collection of papers by Minte. This is a Christmas album that I've created with an elf on the shelf theme. So all the photos are elf on the shelf pictures. Let me take you through how I created the album and then how I decorated the album. To start the process, you're going to need some cardboard or chipboard. I used recycled cereal packaging and then a recycled postal pack that came in the mail for my cardboard. I cut the cereal packaging out first on my paper trimmer. This one was seven inches by six and a half inches. And then I traced it onto the postal packaging. This one was three inches by six and a half inches. So I could easily cut through the cereal box on the paper trimmer, but the thicker cardboard wouldn't have been very good on my paper trimmer. So that's how I got around cutting that. So you'll see the measurements here. You've got two seven inches by six and a half inch rectangles and a three by six and a half inch rectangle. And this will form the base of the album. It's a six inch album. So we're going to use the papers from the Minte paper pads, the six inch paper pads. So this, these papers will fit perfectly into this album. And I'm just using some masking tape now to attach those two rectangles together. And you can see how I've made a little gap there so that the cardboard can bend nice and easily into a book style album. So just leaving a little gap there so that that will bend nicely. And then making sure that that masking tape is nice and secure. And that will form the album, the base of our album. The next step, I'm using some soft material that will just create a, a really soft album cover. So I'm just going to cover my album in this soft material first and then I'm going to use some other material that will be the cover of the album. But this will just give it a nice soft spongy cover. I'm just going to trim that down now. And then I'm going to glue the album to the soft fabric. Just with some paper craft glue. Smooth that down. Now I'm just going to fold up the edges and glue that all, all onto the album cover. And this is just going to be underneath our material so you won't actually see any of this pink material. Now we've got that pink all glued down, we're up to covering it in the material that you will see, which is a lovely red fabric with white stars. And I chose this material because it matches the Minte collection that we're using today, which is called Merry and Bright. And this was just some, I think it's called a quilting square that I purchased at Spotlight to give the album a soft cover. Mm -hmm. 
Our next step is to create the spine part for the album. You need a 6 by 11 inch piece of cardstock. You're going to score at one and a half, two and a quarter, three inches, three and three quarters, four and a half, five and a quarter, six, six and three quarters, seven and a half, eight and a quarter, nine, nine and three quarters. And then we're going to fold those lines. We're going to make hills. So we're going to make a hill, leave a line, make a hill, leave a line. And we want to smooth that down one way, turn it over and smooth it down the other way. Then we're going to glue this together. So in the middle of each valley I'm just putting some glue or you could use double sided tape whatever you prefer and that's just to glue those heels together which will form the pages for our album and this album is very quick and easy to create it's a very basic album so it's suitable for beginners or people who would like to make an album fairly quickly Okay, there's our spine for our album. We're going to pop that into the album now. I'm also going to cut a little bit of cardboard to go inside on the front and back covers and this will just bring the height of the album up to the height of the material. Because we use that really thick material, there's quite a bit of a gap there so I'm just going to layer a piece of cardboard there which will just bring it in line with the material another little bit there this is optional if you don't want to do this you don't have to but it's just going to make it easier to stick the spine part in again you won't see these bits of cardboard when we put our beautiful papers on we'll cover these up this is just all behind the scenes work or ensure that you have a nice sturdy workspace. Right now we can easily pop that on without any gaps in the leveling of the album. So I'm just going to glue that on just make sure you get quite a bit of glue on because you want it to be nice and secure in the cover. I'm just adding a fold line in between where those two cardboard pieces join together. You just want to do this very gently. Don't press too hard there as you do that special fold. Alright, so here's the beautiful papers that we're going to use today, the Merry and Bright collection. I think I've chosen 10 pages that we're going to use in the album and I have machine stitched around the edge of each of those pages. I'm going to use the beautiful Christmas tree pictures as the inside cover because I really like those and I don't really want to cover them up 
So we're also going to cut some strips, two one inch strips, two one inch by six inch strips that's going to go in the binding of the album. And there's your one inch, there's your one inch. And that's going to go there and that will just cover up that little bit of white space. And then we're going to make some more that will go in there and we'll need three of those and they'll be three quarters times six inches. There's another one and there's another one. And that will just give a really pretty polka dot light blue paper that's just going to be in the middle of the pages so instead of seeing plain white we'll see the beautiful minte papers. And I must say, I do really love that aqua and white polka dot paper. It's got a real vintage feel to it and it's just so pretty. It, it goes really nicely with the bright red papers and the stars. And it also coordinates with the fabric that I chose for this album. There we go. That's all on now. That's looking beautiful make sure it's really stuck down nice and strong. Now I'm going to glue on this paper which will be on the inside of the front cover and the inside of the back cover. Let's get my hot glue gun for this. And I'm just going to add that straight on to the inside of the album cover. Now remember I said before that this is a simple and quick album to make. And that paper to me is just too pretty to cover up. So I'm going to have that on the front and I'll have this one on the back. Lots of glue on the back there and then that fits perfectly into that side there of the album. So it's looking beautiful already. If you do take Elf on the Shelf photos then this is the perfect album to store your Elf on the Shelf photos in. Now here's the easy part of the album. We're not making pages out of white cardboard today and then covering them with paper. We are going to make our pages out of the Mintae paper pad. So it's going to be very simple and very quick to create. Just going to use my hot glue gun to put in the first page. Then I'm going to Put another page on the back of that one. And that will go directly on the other side of that hill. And that's our page. So how easy and quick is that? We're not having any flips in this album. This is just a basic album. It's going to have eight pages. And these Mente papers are just beautiful, beautifully decorated, and they are strong. So they're going to, we're going to use them for each one of our album pages. Now we're moving on to the embellishment of our pages, and I have created 
enough of these little flowers out of the art foam to have two flowers on each page and also two flowers on the front cover. So you can see I am just heating those up there with the iron which really causes them to puff up. Then you need to make a hole in the center of each of the petals. I'm using these little golden branch things that's going to go in the middle of my flower. That's my first one done. And then the littlest one that was cut is going to be a little flower. So instead of putting all three petals on the one flower this time, we're going to stretch those three petals to make two flowers. Which I think is quite nice. Let's look at some of the other things we're going to need to make the album. Here I have some circular chipboard frames. I have some sprocket sized photos of the elf on the shelf pictures that come from my friend Jasmine. I've got the number six paper from the 12 by 12 collection cut up into the frames. We've got the flowers that we've made. I've got some snowballs. I've got some white twiggy sort of branches. I've got, I've, occasionally I have used some die cuts. I've got some fussy cutting from the 12 by 12 paper. I've got some lace. So these are the pages that we're going to create. We've also got some white twine bows and some white lace bows that we're going to use. And each page is created in the same way. So there's no thinking, it's just enjoyment. So this is the page I'm going to do first. I've already glued on the white circular frame. I'm now gluing on the fussy cut frame from the number six 12 by 12 sheet. And then I'm going to glue on the elf photo on top of that. Now I'm working on a side cluster here. I'm putting on some of the lace. To begin with. Then I'm gluing on the twine bow and the lace bow. Ideally you want to use your hot glue gun here. I think I'm waiting for mine to charge. And then we're going to have our poinsettia flower. Or two. We're going to have two poinsettia flowers for every page in the album and then we can add in some little white branches some snowballs Just sort of sprinkle your snowballs in and around the layers that you've created in the cluster. Maybe a little pearl here and there. Let's take a look at another example of another page in the album. You can see I've already glued in the circular frame, which was my base starting point. Then I glued in the rectangle frame, fussy cut from the number six paper and my sprocket photograph. On the side I'm adding a lace ribbon. I'm going to add a twine bow. I'm going to add some lace. My two flowers.
You do have to be mindful of how chunky your clusters are when creating this album. If you do want your album to shut properly, the clusters that I made were a little bit chunky for an album, but I still had a lot of fun creating them. Just adding some little red balls. And you just can continue to follow that process for creating your cluster on each page of the album and also on the front album we're going to take a look at that now you can see I've made two floral clusters there this is the first page of the album and the second and the third you can see how each one looks slightly different but generally they are the same and there's a nice mix of Christmas colors in the merry and bright papers but with a whimsical feel with the elf on the shelf if you have a moment please subscribe to my youtube channel Thank you so much for watching and have a lovely crafty day.